Guys, thank you. If you happen to stop by this channel, I appreciate it. I'm just going to ask you to maybe watch. You don't have to like. <laughs> and you don't have to subscribe. I don't expect anybody to do that. But I wanted to share my thoughts on the greatest and gridiron, gridiron tackle football, the greatest offensive lineman in history. Now, this, this person is not pound for pound the best offensive lineman in history. In fact, he has an advantage pretty much over everybody because they say he's 6'3", 325, Larry Allen of the Dallas Cowboys, and then he played for San Francisco up until like 06, 07. He was drafted in 94 out of a Division II school, and how he was overlooked, he must have, I don't know, but he was probably, I think, the best offense lineman up there. Now, one thing about him is he never really, he was more of a run blocker, and he struggled maybe against Reggie White a few times, unlike Eric Williams, who I think pretty much dominated Reggie White a couple plays here and there. You're never going to be perfect. In fact, there was times where I watched where he played against uh, the Eagles, and even like uh, a no-name like Andy Harmon had one play on him that he beat. You're going to eventually lose. That's just the way it is when, when, you're, co when you're a competition. You're eventually going to get beat in a play. You just can't go in there and just win every single play. Even if you don't give up any sacks, you're going to get beat on a pass rush even. You know, maybe not completely uh, bad, but there's times where I've seen Orlando Pace get beat, and he was one heck of an offensive lineman. Offensive lineman. But I wanted to also talk about uh, Aaron Donald versus Larry Allen. Oh, this also, I also wanted to say Larry Allen could bench press 700 pounds. I mean, so right off the bat, pound for pound, you can't sit there and say he was the best offensive lineman. I mean, when he had the size, he basically took up the whole entire line. He was just massive, a massive human being. And he was he never get beat in a leverage play. There was a couple times where you could you could get underneath him and there were some players that could, you know, stalemate him at least. And the very at the very least there were stalemates with him. And that's a lot of times when it comes to the NFL, it's like the line just is so good. Offensive defensive line, they they're stale they they get stalemates. I mean, so I wanted to talk about Larry Allen versus Aaron Donald, who would win and and uh, obviously, Larry Allen would, if it was just a straight up penetration, if it was a straight up uh, blocking, you know, finesse, Aaron Donald would probably end up winning. Because Aaron Donald would find a way to uh, probably win, but let, or Aaron Donald would find a way to win a couple of times. And especially if it was a tackle, I mean, if he would line up on the outside, I mean, of course, you know, it's almost impossible to, you know, it's not impossible but to beat these guys. But I would sit there and say, uh, I would always want to see Larry Allen and Aaron Donald at it. I mean, I know that if they got like, if Larry Allen would get his, uh, you know, the arms and, and under his shoulder pads, then it's over. But I would like to see like, uh, it's just unfortunate you can't see like matchups, you know, and it's impossible with her. With our current technology, that'd be kind of cool if we could see what would actually happen. But again, it's just hearsay. I mean, it's virtually impossible to sit there and say, see Bruce Matthews versus, uh, you know, Richard Dent or something. I mean, it's not because they probably played against each other. But, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on who the best offensive lineman of all time. And it's very, it's very hard to sit there and say who the best offensive lineman is. Of it. I would have to say Larry Allen of the Dallas Cowboys overall, not pound for pound because that's, I mean, it's, he just has that unfair advantage where he was able to bench press 700 pounds and he was had the, that size, just like he just took up everything. And, um, and, you know, getting back to that, uh, or, I wanted to talk about a little bit of the 95 Dallas Cowboys. That offensive line was just phenomenal. It was just unbelievable how good they were. And uh, anyway, 
I wanted to keep this video as brief as possible. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. And uh, I could probably go on and on about uh, for hours on end. But again, you <laughs> you have time that's precious. And uh, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. All right.